Hey guys, um, I'm back to do your readings. We're going to be doing June predictions. And for your horoscope sign, Sun, Moon, and Rising in Venus, I'm very sorry for all the noise. I am in Diana, South America. I had to get away from lockdown in Canada, 15 months being locked up and not being able to go anywhere or do anything. Um, my children and I needed to leave. So we are here at my parents' home, and so I don't have my regular setup. And someone decided to start building in the property next door, so they are clearing land. And I am using my headphone, so I'm hoping that this will be audible and um, you can just deal with that for, as I'm dealing with it. And I'm really, truly sorry. I'm going to be opening up readings soon, so if you are interested in a reading, please make sure you send me an email because they are going to be pre-recorded readings. I'm no longer going to be offering Zoom readings who aren't in my membership. And um, we can book a reading that way if you are interested. Okay, let's get started. So it is also very super windy here. So <laughs> sorry guys, it's not my usual setup. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start with cancer. We're going to start uh, seeing what is going on in June for you predictions. We're going to see whatever shows up. Um, I'm going to look at love and alchemy and business and everything else. So let's see where your energy is going to be. Sun, moon, rising and Venus and north node for cancers, please. Where is their energy going to be for June, please, spirit? Okay, wow. It looks like you're opening up into something very new, Cancer. What I'm seeing is that you have finally been able to release something come in June. You've been able to trust something in your intuition. This is uh, holding something in her crown chakra or his crown chakra. There is something happening here with this third eye. And being able to trust the, the intuition and those pieces of information i feel like you're putting puzzle pieces together is what i'm seeing and you're able to release a lot and um the dark energy is leaving and the light energy is starting to envelop you you see how there's a white aura that's happening around you cancer so there's definitely a purity that's happening spirit is saying you've done a lot of healing work and coming in june you're going to start seeing a lot more of this release uh, tangible things is what I'm seeing spirit is saying it's going to be very tangible it's going to be the ability to uh, recognize why you are stuck in this energy for so long so there's definitely something that's happening let's pull something else here and see um, I'm gonna just move this a little bit so you can see I can put this up here let's see um, what else is coming up for cancer I'm going to pull, um, just give me a second, I have all my decks here and I haven't quite decided which ones to use. Let's see for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit. What else is coming up for Cancer? What does Cancer need to know, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus coming in um, June. And Spirit is bringing through that this is um, not just love, guys. This is uh, prosperity, money. I feel like you guys have been working on multiple things. There may be a message... Oh, I thought it was message in a bottle. No, it's out to sea. You had to kind of leave things and move into a completely different direction into your life. And Spirit is saying it's been a very lonely journey. Um, what I'm seeing is this, this girl in the boat is lonely. She's by herself. She's trying to find her direction and she's being guided by the wind here. You can see there is a face. Sorry, there's glares. There's windows all around me. So, um, yeah, there's a face there that's showing up, Cancer, and I'm seeing that you've had to kind of solidify yourself in the last little bit. And coming in June, this work of leaving and moving away has really brought in this type of energy, what I'm seeing of releasing a lot of that darkness. What else is going on for Cancer, please? What else is going on for Cancer? What else is going on for Cancer? Any other messages for Spirit for Cancer? Yeah, you're really looking at Cancer. What isn't for you? And that's why you had to be alone. You had to completely be alone. You were playing certain type of egoic games here is what I'm seeing. You had to strategize, know how to get away in order to crack open this fortune cookie. This doorway or this window is completely closed. There is also a face in this. Let's look at this. It's very interesting because Spirit is showing me the face on these two cards. You had a face 
face here and it's spirit guiding you and you also have a face right here where spirit is also guiding you and so spirit has you know this is confirmation that if you had to walk away from old energy and close that door this is a confirmation that your abundance is about to come in in june okay so you've done a lot of work in order to be able to gain this fortune cookie um yeah and spirit is saying because you honored that you mm -hmm, it says nope on it but spirit is saying that <laughs> that's your gift <laughs> right so because you were able to understand cancer that these games and the strategic game that you've been playing the egoic mind right the ego likes to play in all of these um games right where spirit is leading you to close the door and when you listen to this you know what is not for you and you will gain a better fortune because you listen that nope this wasn't for you so being alone and going through all of that has really been um it could have been very trying could have been very painful of course it is an alone journey with spirit is always um difficult a lot of people don't like to be alone um i can attest to that but it is needed to be able to know the brilliance of your of your energy okay let's see what else is going on for cancer so spirit is saying it's really about june for you cancer is really about a time of building yourself up again uh, grounding these new energies and being still a little patient with yourself. I know it's difficult, but you still have to have some of that patience. What else do you have for Cancer, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wow, this is about you bringing in your soul family. I'm also seeing a, a, if you're looking for love, Cancer, this is also a twin flame connection that you may have been thinking about. We have two uh, whales that are breaching. There is an awakening, uh, again, out of the crown chakra. Look at this. There has been a massive awakening coming out of this crown chakra here, and it's parting. It's like bringing the abundance. It's expanding in the actual 3D world here. And you're recognizing who your real soul family is, calling your tribe, you don't have to do it alone. So Spirit is saying that you haven't been, you've been doing this journey alone. And that's a confirmation again from the cards that we've been seeing that you've been doing this journey for quite a bit by yourself. And Spirit's really recognizing your hard work, which is awesome. And so, you know, because of that, you've been going into these emotions and you are now going to be benefited and people are going to come into your life with abundance, soulmate, twin flames, soul tribe, family, people you're meant to build with because you have been doing this work. Let's pull some tarot for you and see what else is coming through. What tarot deck do I want to use? I'm going to use mine. I'm going to be working on my site soon, guys, um, to purchase my deck. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to get that up very soon. Um, coming and uprooting very quickly and coming to Guyana was <laughs> very quick and abrupt, but you know me, when spirit calls me, I go. I don't second guess, so um, I'm also looking at starting to build my healing center here in the interior in the rainforest. Guyana is one of the fastest growing economies here, and um, I have a lot of leverage here, so um, I think I'm going to be building my center here, guys. All right, let's see what's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Spirit. What do you have for Cancer for June? Yeah, you're coming out of a place of apathy. Um, you're starting to recognize where you've had a fear of change. We have the Tower in Reverse with the Four of Cups. This um, inner awakening that you've been having, Cancer, is really showing you where you've been stuck in complacency, where you haven't been able to move forward. And Spirit is saying, let's clarify... Um, this card here I was clarifying the soul family card it's like you you're not juggling anymore you don't want to juggle energy anymore in June you are getting a very clear d direction of ending karmic cycles we have the justice card just came out so you are really making strong decisions in regards to how you're going to move forward how you're going to end karmic cycles what's no longer good for you if you are looking at love here with this card with the soul family card or uh, friendship or people that you know that you're meant to work with there's going to be karmic justice that's going to affect your soul family tribe too also with your person if you are thinking of a particular 
person. Spirit is saying we're going to pull some more. We're going to take a little deeper look at divine counterparts in separation. Sorry for the wind, guys. The wind is nice and cool for me. <laughs> I'm sure you probably hear it. Let's see if there's anything in love here for cancer specifically. So Spirit is saying this is um mostly everything. I see finances improving. I see relationships improving. I see you entering an entirely new vibration because of what spirit has brought you and for your divine counterpart yeah you're doing this work for this we also have two people that are jumping up and down you're moving again there's a lot of this energy of moving transitionally out of this darkness and into this beautiful light and it's very similar again to um this energy right here in regards to the two people you know and that's what i was getting if this feels like a very two of cups energy and that you're doing this because anything that spirit has brought to you in a divine counterpart is really worth it okay cancer so this is really beautiful i'm gonna pull some yeah let's get some healing messages for you and see what spirit is bringing up for you um I don't know if I want to do the animal ones, but let's take a look. There might be an animal message for you. Okay, yeah. All right, what are some healing messages here for cancer? I'm really seeing that it's been an amalgamation of a lot of hard work here. Would you like for cancer? Some healing messages for cancer, please, for June. Okay, so Spirit is really bringing through, the, look at this, the cosmic egg, okay? You're entering definitely into a new birth and rebirth. This cosmic egg, the snake is very wise. The snake is one of the oldest symbols that we have um, on the planet. It is with the Garden of Eden. It's with um, Egyptian Kundalini energy, uh, Hindu Kundalini energy, Egyptian third eye energy, uh, ayahuasca as well. So this is a very... Um, cosmic energy that you have been able to transcend a lot and what's coming into your life into brand new beginnings and because of that the new beginnings you're going to be ready to build here the beaver is really really about hard work and building and it's almost like coming into uh June, um, you're really going to be seeing what's what's happening in in your life. So, those are the healing messages that I'm getting. We're gonna go a little deeper for you, Cancer. Actually, let's see what portals are opening for you, and then we're going to actually pull some like more in depth um, energy here in regards to uh, tarot. I want to get more into tarot in the second part of your reading. So, if you guys are liking this reading so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and comment and it's good to be back I, I had to figure out how to make this work being in my parents home here let's see what portals are opening up wow look at this exactly what I was feeling cancer you're breaking barriers breaking the old you're really shining this light look at this is really beautiful come in June there's um, new life starting look at this leaf that's growing on the old branches you've ended a huge karmic cycle there's a lot of light shining and this is time for you to build is what spirit is saying and look being in flow I am flow with the universe so this is getting and this is the boat you have to go in the boat cancer you have to be secluded you have to be on your own you have to follow the voice of spirit and these boats are very similar which is very two different decks right but i love the synchronicities and spirit is saying you have to be alone you have to take this time to get very honest with yourself of what you want in your life and this light has been guiding you just as this face and the voice and the whisper of spirit has been guiding you through your darkest moments to break those barriers so let's go deeper for cancer Let's take a look at some tarot and let's see what other messages are coming up for you. We're going to um, just pull some tarot and see what I get here. What is going on for cancer, please? We're going to take a look at um, a different way. We're going to ask about finances. Okay, career, finances. We're going to take a look at love and relationships as well for doing predictions. Thank you. What is going on for Cancer, please? Let's see. What is going on, Spirit, in regards to Cancer as well? Cancer as well, please. Cancer as well. And finances. Okay. I see that there's been an injustice in money for you. 
in the past, okay? Things have been very stuck for you. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. We have the Justice card in reverse. We have the truth, okay? It forced you to have to look at certain um, things. You may be going through legal issues that were just being very stuck in a certain energy. Uh, you are releasing a lot of burdens at this time. You, you haven't been able to move forward. You've been pretty stuck in the hangman position. And so finances have been um, pretty stagnant. Uh, you may have lost money for some of you. You have, uh, even in your career, what you want to do, but um, it hasn't been moving for you, Cancer. And so what Spirit is really bringing through right now for you is that all of this injustice, you have to be stuck in this energy here in order to know the truth, in order for you to get very honest about what you desire in your life. And this is a very new, truthful, honest path that's helping you release all of these burdens, okay? Let's take a look. What was the injustice here, Spirit, and the finances? for cancer finances and career you had to end a relationship some of you um it was keeping you very stuck and it could be a relationship with money it can be a relationship with the person again these are general um that was either you know sucking your energy it could be um family issues whatever maybe you had to pay uh other people uh or your rent was way too high and the relationship with your landlord uh, was just really horrible. Whatever it is, it's like that relationship you've ended, you've had to walk away and make some very difficult decisions in order to move, get this chariot moving into the upright. It can't move into the upright until you have completely ended those things. And that's what we were saying at the beginning of your reading, Cancer, that you were really um, unable to move forward because you've been finally healing and moving um a lot of those energies out of your um frequency remember that where did i put those where did i put your cards oh yeah here are your cards um remember this card this is what i'm seeing again you you had to release those burdens and that's including financial okay don't worry so much you're about to build again okay let's see some future energies that are coming in for cancer in regards to money spirit some future energies Wow, look at this. You're going to make proper investments once you take your cup and invest it. You're going to be victorious. This is like, you know, going through competition, going through the war, going through a really hard time and being victorious because of your wins. So this is really good, Cancer. You're going to make some really solid investments. You're going to be able to reap the harvest that you've been planting seeds for a while that you may not have gotten in an old situation regarding finances. You're going to be able to take this um, energy and put it into something else that's going to bring you a lot of victory and success. Wow, that's amazing. Let's take a look what's going on in your love life. So money is looking like it is definitely going to be improving. Um, whatever you've been manifesting, again, if this is resonating for you, want to book a reading, send me an email um, and I will send you a link to get on the list for June's I Am Running readings for the entire month of June. Okay, and uh, if this is resonating, uh, we can get into much more detail because I can read just by a first name. I can tell the energies and what's going on with anybody in your life. Um, let's take a look. What's going on for love and cancer for June, please? What is going on for love? Just give me a second, guys. What is going on for love for cancer in June? What is going on for love? Looks like this has been stuck as well but it looks like you want some type of reunion friendship celebration um the challenge that's coming up in your cards right now that came sideways is the page of swords and the strength and sideways so you're having a lot of hard time with seeking more finally having some hard conversations in your life in your love life it could be you know actually finally making that final break from somebody unable to uh have that hard conversation knowing that you have a curiosity factor that's going that you need more something is stagnant in your life as well because what we're seeing is the knight of, of uh, pentacles in reverse so you're very stuck as well you don't want to invest in certain love situations right now we have the seven of pentacles here with uh you, yeah you're in a, some sort of separation or pulled away from a lot of people and that's your energy you've been completely pulled away and what's happening is like you're healing and contemplating how to move forward in this deck here you have you know a wand that's been cemented to the ground you know you can't take it with you wherever you're going so if this is a relationship that you've walked away from um or you've been healing from something there's definitely uh a knowing that you can't invest in this old energy any longer that it's been keeping you stuck and you just have to move forward there's a lot of friendship 
coming there may be a relationship coming for you in june that starts as a friendship it may be very celebratory let's clarify that a little deeper yeah because you're single now you're going to be able to play the field a little bit more cancer you're going to be able to go in june and um find yourself more with friends um, you're looking at the truth of what's toxic relationships. So you're very careful as you're moving forward where attachment, codependency, addictions are so that you can have a reunion with somebody or that you can form a friendship with somebody. Something may have started to start as a friendship first, but you're really, again, following this truth, following something. And that came up in your cards earlier as well, that there's a, a soul tribe family that's coming as well. So we're going to pull out these cards again so we can take a look at them. You know, this one, the soul family is again coming up, right? You had to go out to see. You had to like learn how to be in the flow of everything. You had to, you know, you're going to be able to build now because you, you're reaping this new abundance of the cosmic egg, right? Um, you're not juggling anymore. This is karmic justice. You've healed the karma. You've healed some really big cycles. Even though you've had a fear of change, it's like coming completely to an end now, Cancer. Um, and again, we have, uh, you've ended that apathy, right? You're coming into this two of cups you know what's not for you right you know what's not for you you know that whatever you're doing is going to be so worth it so that you're becoming this light pure amazing being here so again like i was saying at the beginning of your reading it's all amalgamated this is everything cancer this is high mastery stuff this is i i feel it's been a really rough road um and now because you've gone out to see here you've breaking these barriers this this is about to blossom this new life is about to blossom because you've taken that proper time for yourself wow that is really amazing cancer in regards to love finances everything it's like you got the whole shebang that is going for you um i'm going to pull some more cards here let's pull some of these oracles here can we have some cards here for uh cancer some final healing messages that's going to pull again uh finances money career and love and stability okay we're going to get the first card out for all the material stuff and the second card for your your love life so let's take a look for cancer what is going on with the finances and all of that look at that this is a union coming in spirit is saying that because you're coming in so you're coming into some type of um understanding let's see about a love partnership spirit oh we've got two so in a love partnership we have um desert vision quest and sanctuary so this is what I'm getting in regards to love, finance, finances, uh, material abundance, things being grounded. This is because of the love that you've given to yourself. That's because you're going to reconnect. These hands are coming together. So that is a start of something, you know. This is something about to build for you. That this coming together, as I'm seeing here, friendship, reunion, right, that we are getting here, um, you know, by being single. You, you need to be single, Cancer. Uh, so you can know what's toxic and whatnot. Your love life may still be a bit of a desert and you may be pulling back in, but I think that's just a res residue in June. Um, again, like I was saying, you may start off as friends first is what I'm getting here um, so that you can know where you are toxic in your own. You're still in your own vibration. You've just healed massive karmic justice, but this coming together is definitely happening so that, happening so that it's going to affect your money, your, your foundation, your, your life basically this love for self is going to bring in i'm seeing like twin flame connection is going to bring this in so that um something is definitely happening that's going to just bring in so much love and abundance um into your life and i feel it is going to progress um very seriously but there's still going to be some work in your heart okay that you have to still go in into your cave to figure out okay is this what i want what is going on with me um it's still gonna be a little dry it's still gonna be a little dry let's see why it's going to be a little dry i don't know if you're still working through fears trust issues not sure uh okay so there's some honesty there's some uh, deception, darker energies that are still clearing. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse in order for a new beginning to come forward. So that's why it's going to be a little slow, okay? There may have been mistrust in an issue. Something wasn't honestly um, 
done in the past this could be we are in mercury retrograde retrograde it could be something that you are moving into something more honest now and um that honesty and that trust and maybe and what i'm getting is also trusting yourself that's why you have to pull into this cave and this desert here uh, it's going to be a little dry because you don't know yourself in this new vibration either you're just breaking through something massive so it's going to be a buildup, but you are, you do have the beaver. You do have the cosmic egg. This is like highly twin flame, really highly sacred stuff. So it's going to be a slow process of building. The beaver does not build a dam in a day. Rome was not built in a day. It's going to take some time, but this energy is what's coming forward. All right, Cancer, that is your reading. If you would like a reading, uh, don't forget to email me. This is really beautiful energy. I'm sorry again for all the noise. I hope that you were able to get what you needed out of this. And I'm sending you so much love, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.